Hello everyone. In this tutorial of ArcGIS, we are going to learn about the buffer analysis. So, for the buffer analysis, first of all, you need to load vector data. For now, for this tutorial, I am using point features, uh, which uh, we show the location of high junior high schools within the map and for the buffer analysis you can directly go to our toolbox and from there in the within this analysis tools and in it click the proximity and you will find buffer or if you don't want to search you can go to search tool and just go to buffer type in buffer in this field and select the uh, click this search option and from there you can easily uh, go to buffer analysis tool so input features in input features you select that feature on which you want to do the buffer analysis on to i selected junior high schools and this output feature you designate that location the destination and the file name for output feature class so in this distance in distance you designate the distance around the input feature that will be buffered and and this can be either provided as a value along with its units I'm using meters and within these meters I'm using 500 500 meters you can even use this field tool if you if your buffer values are within the uh, uh, within the field in the attribute table but for now this tutorial I'm using linear units after designating the units you can just simply click OK the buffer analysis is being processed by the computer so, whereas For now, let's reduce this size. No, over here you can see the buffers. Buffers actually refer to the proximity of one feature to a particular distance to some extent, and you can even click the symbol, and this window opens up. Symbol selector, you can use the color the color that you want to show a buffer outline with from here you can select this piece uh, and hit ok you can even for transparency you can go to you can double click this layer for transparency and other properties Transparency, go to display tab, and from here, and select 50% transparent. You can even use symbology, symbology, display resource, other things for this tutorial. Let's just display. So, just gives a transparency look. And apart from this, you can even use multi ring buffer analysis it is pretty simple it goes you can do it in the exactly same manner as you did this buffer analysis and in the multi ring analysis you can have several layers of buffers several so for multi ring buffer analysis go to search toolbox and from here type in multi ring buffer Murdering buffer analysis tool select it so in this tool select high school feature as I did previously this is the output feature class and for the distance because you, you can add 
By using this tool, you can add multiple distances to the buffer, and each buffer will have a separate, will have an individual distance from the point. So, for example, if I'm using 200, 200 distance for the first band, and for the second band, I'm using 400 distance, and third, third. 600 800 1000 you can even arrange the or it's the order by these arrow keys and for the unit i'm selecting meters or you and you can select as per your requirement and the field name it's optional but by default it's distance default field name is distance so by using multi ring buffer it, this tool will also add additional field to your attribute table of the feature by the name of distance and hit ok the analysis is being processed So, and in this, uh, in the entirely the same manner, you can even add buffer. You can even do buffer analysis on polyline feature or polygon feature in this in exactly the same manner. This the thing is that you have to select another feature. Just. It doesn't mean that this analysis can only be done on points. You can use it on polyline and other features as well. It's buffer analysis. So as you can see, for high school. Multi ring buffer analysis has been has been done on another feature by the name of high schools. Now you can even add transparency to it and for the symbology symbology go to symbology and then to quantities and then select the color or first of all select the value I am selecting distance and now I am using this color as you can see as as you can see as the distance increases the color also changes to a darker shade so this looks quite impressive or you can or you can you are uh, do the flip click symbol and click flip symbols in this way you can uh, the the distance near to the feature will be darker in shade than the this than the buffer further away from it it okay you have this whole document i will zoom to layer give a overall overview of it of the whole data and in this way you can do buffer analysis Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Do subscribe to my channel and like and comment to this video. Thank you everyone.